Something many of us would like to donate to help Officer Kim's family or other officers. Consumer reporter John Matteris is on your side tonight with some ways that you can help and some charities to avoid. John? Julie, in times of tragedy, many of us, myself included, want to help those affected. I remember back when officers Pope and Jeter were killed back in 1997, and I remember how the tri state community reached out to their families. So here's how to donate and how not to donate. When an officer is killed in the line of duty, the Tri-State wants to help. One way to offer condolences is to donate to a police charity. But beware. Reading's police chief, Scott Snow, told us last year, be careful of phone solicitors who call unannounced. Most of them are very careful not to say that they're police officers, but they'll, what they'll say is, I, I, you know, I represent the local police department. The problem? Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine says some get only 10% of what you give. How many of us would give money to our local police if we knew 90% of that money was going to the paid solicitors? So how do you know? Well, check two great organizations, the Better Business Bureau and Charity Navigator. The BBB Sandra Guile told me just because a group says police doesn't mean they're a good charity. There may be some charities that sound alike and look alike. So the first thing that you want to do to make sure the charity that you are giving to is legitimate. Looking for a legitimate, safe group to donate to? Try COPS, Concerns of Police Survivors, a group that supports the families of fallen officers. Also, the Officer Down Memorial Page, the Shield of Ohio, and the FOP Foundation. Now, if you go to my page on WCPO.com, you will find links to those local police charities. I also have Charity Navigator's list of the worst police charities, some that you may want to avoid, and that way you don't waste your money. Julie? All right, John, thank you.